we are live. Hi. Hey, how are you doing, guys? We're huh. fine. What about you? I'm very well, thanks. Uh, we're seeing a special background. Where are you now? Yeah, I'm at Konoke show oh. for three weeks. It starts today. This is the first day here. How's the weather? Weather is lovely today. It's sunny and windy, so it's really amazing. Yeah. Wow. And how's the weather on Milano? <laughs> um, it's sunny now, but it rained a cool. few minutes ago. All right, cool. I saw, cool. I saw uh, stories on your Instagram account so where, where, where you put uh, a video of a rainy street. So I was exactly that was, uh, <laughs> not a good weather. No, it wasn't the way I, I, I just came from Madrid, so it wasn't fun. Ah, so. okay. okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We, we usually make a joke about Belgium whether it's rainy all the time. So it came before I arrived to bed. <laughs> that was the story about Okay, so uh, we're here today with uh, Ahmed Al Mawali. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's a no photographer. And uh, we wanted to ask you uh, something about your life to start with and introduce you if you want to ask sure. something. Sure. Uh, I'm uh, I'm Ahmed Mawali. I'm from Oman, Sultanate of Oman. I know for most of the people, it's the first time they heard about it. Oh. It's one of the Gulf country, Arabian, at the Gulf side. Oh. It's second bigger country there. It has like uh, big culture, oh. history, tradition. The people are really friendly there. So I recommend everyone to visit it. And the, it's, it's, it's not far from Dubai. As everyone knows, Dubai It's just to our So it's uh, really hot right now, I think. Exactly. I just left last week and it was 48. So not in summer. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, what about your life? How did you become interested in uh, technology? In photography, sorry. <laughs> Well, in photography in general, I remember since I was a kid, I was like all the time with the, you know, uh, what you call it, how to call it, electricity device and this and that. Okay. So I was, since the computer appeared in 2000, I was like all the time with the computer. And then when the mobile came, I used it. I used the camera. That when the mobile came with the camera, I used it to do photos, some clip for fun. Mm -hmm. But then here we go. There you are. And what about it's horses? Started. Why? With the horse? Yeah. With the horses, I guess, start with recently. Mm -hmm. I used to do like most kind of photography, mm -hmm. like mostly. But then with the horses, I, I have one of my friends, he jumped in the amateur classes. And he was like, every time, Ahmed, please come to, to make photo of me. And I said, listen, I don't have any related to this animal I'm gonna shoot, you know? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I never touched horse before. And he said, no, you're gonna love it. And I went there first time, it was 2017, March, I remember. And it's click, I love it from first day. Oh. And here we go. <laughs> so you're not a rider? You never ride a horse? I, I do ride now. Oh. I, st I start as a photographer, yeah. and then I start riding as well. But I'm like uh, amateur level, okay. still. <laughs> and what is it that you like about horses? Well, when you ask about horses, we, we, you, we can't answer it's like short answer, you know, we can't div divide it in a word. Uh -huh. It's, it's uh, emotion, feeling, uh, it's really difficult to, to, to explain it, but it's, 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 it's a different world, yeah. seriously, it's a different world. Something you love, something you spend all the time with it without feeling boring at all. You get attached to the horses, get the feeling, and it's helped everyone. I mean, as a rider, me as a photographer, you guys as a media behind the scenes, yeah. you always see the feeling of the horse, you, you see the, the, the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's a big world. You can't you can't like uh, divide it it's true. no you're right it's true and uh, you said before we we started the live that uh, 
uh, you are based everywhere the show took you. Uh, exactly. But, um, it's different the life uh, in the show and before the show. Uh, I explain my question. Um, we get to, to Rome one month ago and uh, when I come back to home, I was like, no, wait, there's something different in my life now. <laughs> Exactly, yeah, it's it's not it's not our place anymore. Are are crazy. Uh, exactly, you go to to a lot of shows. So, how you live? Exactly, yeah, I I, I live between the shows, <laughs> as as I told you before. But it's it's like this. Before I start with the horses, 2017, I have my like outside life, you know. And since I start with the horses, I forget about <laughs> it. So now when I go for a holiday or something. I go to see my family, but at the end of the day, I am in nearest stable. The nearest stable, you're going to find me there, either in Oman or in Dubai. When I go to UAE, I just like go to spend some hour at the stable. We don't, we, I, I, for me, I forget about the second life, to be honest. I don't know how to enjoy it. I enjoy the horses mostly. I think for everyone, it's the same. Right? It's true. Yes. Yes, sir. Um, and what about your work? Was it easy for you to become a photographer? I believe there is no, no easy work, to be honest. There is no easy work. And especially with, like, with photography and to be in this shows as well, uh, for me as Arabian, like uh, we are like far away from Europe. We have shows, like in, in Oman we have shows, but we don't have many shows. We have national. We did the first uh, international last year. It was two star, mm -hmm. I think. But in UAE, I, I, I started in UAE, like between Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Sharjah, and the United there. And it's really good level. I would say it's really good level. You can also compare it to Europe. But mm -hmm. still, we, you don't have that number of the rider, of the horse, of the shows. So I, I took it step by step from Oman with the national shows, then to UAE, then all the Gulf country. And then I came to Europe. It was a challenge, to be honest, for me to come to Europe. The number of the photographer here, the quality of the photographer, uh, they are really amazing. All the photographers are doing really well. Like mm -hmm. Everyone who, who do it as a hobby and as a career, at the end, everyone do their own style their own uh, way of uh, photographing mm -hmm. and i see everything amazing everyone is amazing but it's never easy it's never easy for if you ask anyone if, for any job it's never easy and when, when it's come to photography it's and then photography and it's come with horses so it's not as the different kind of photography oh. here you have you have a life soul or animal yeah. have have a feeling have emotion so you have to get all this, capture all this, and you have to know about the horses more and more, about, about the sport in general. Then you will find the way to get the best photo you want. So do you think you need to, to get to know horses to become a, a better equestrian photographer? I, I believe so, yeah, definitely. You need to know. If you bring, I, I believe if you bring like the master of, portrait modeling mm -hmm. and you put him to do a horses mm -hmm. he can shoot the horse in beauty photo but then you will find one ear in front one in back mm -hmm. this is simple details yeah. you know what about uh, the other uh, uh, details you know yeah. so you know you need you, you need to know about the sport about the horses you need to have the feeling with it as of well course. so you said you you came closer to horses because of a friend of yours exactly Exactly. His name is Ibrahim Asadrani, so I hope he's watching this. <laughs> Do you think it's, it's difficult for a photographer to work in the equestrian world? Well, yeah, as, as we said, there is not, nothing easy, but with the question, it's a competitor field with all the things. If you speak about rider, owner, media, photographer, all, all, all the people who's working in this field, it's the same. So, yeah, with the number of the photographer now, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. But as I told you, everyone do their best. Everyone is amazing with, with what they are doing. So, yeah, it's not easy, to be honest. But 
it's also like when you have the feeling, when you have the passion, uh, passion, when you have the sorry, when you, when you, when when you love the things you do. Here is the difference. I love it. I love photography. I used to work in, as an IT. I, I have like bachelor degree in information technology. Oh wow! I was, uh, yeah, your your I, Lexus uh, with technology was yeah. <laughs> so uh, because I told you I love it since I was a kid. Okay. So I I was working for three years and then I felt like what I'm doing every day at this desktop, you know. Mm-hmm. But now I work with something I love. I love the camera and I love the horse. Oh. So it's a uh, amazing, uh, you know. Combination, mm-hmm. so, and it's help. It's always help. You 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 start to be creative. You start to see something different every day. You wake up. You have the 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 plan to get something new. No, of course, but um, so um, maybe we we will ask you a difficult question for you. I don't know, but um, how would you define a question photography in your own words? What would you say? it's it, it's like one word. It's no, difficult to. But if you want one word, I can. In Italy, you use. You if use you have spectacular to, to, to someone that, uh, that doesn't know the 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 question word and your job, how would you, you know? describe it? Well, it's great, great question. To be honest, it's um, like as I. T- one word is not enough to no, to to describe it, but it's 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 a mix between feelings, emotion, technique. So you would say that it's more uh, emotional than technical. It's both. Oh, okay, it's both. It's both. Yeah, it's mix between both. So when you have the technique and then you get the emotion, put it together, you get the amazing shot, for sure. Um, and what um, what did you like the most about equestrian photography when you came closer to this world? The first things I'm social person. Mm. So, so this is first things you meet you meet every day new people. Oh, okay. So I have like you you I have a large number of friends. Second, like uh, as I told you, when you love something. You give it all your time. Mm-hmm. So I wake up early morning to go to the stable to ride when I have time, of course, or to go to the show early morning. And and you know how we work. We end at the midnight. And you don't feel that tired because you enjoy at the same time. Yeah, of course. This is, the, this is the difference. When you enjoy the things, you don't feel the, 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 the effort that you put because you enjoy it. Of course. Yes, it's true. It's true. And do you think that um, equestrian photography changed your world, your life, uh, and what you used to be? Totally. Totally. From from first things and simple things as Arabian culture, we don't we don't go out of the family. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we are we are really close to the family. Hmm. It's like all the like okay when you come to 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 Morocco and this part, they are like close to Europe, so they have this mentality. But if you come to the other side, we don't have this mentality that you leave your family and travel around for for a while, you are not with your family. So this is the first things. And then traveling, of course, I love traveling, meeting friends every time we are, I am, we are in different location. Also, we, we, we get this chance to visit different cities. So, so you can visit the city where you're shooting, or it's difficult? Uh, it's difficult, but I always try to put one day after the show. Ah, like, okay, great right. idea. Yeah. Try, exactly, I tried Monday to 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 visit like at least what I can do, what I can visit at that day. Sure, sure. And how you choose the the shows? Well. Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of, I, I, all the shows are great, but there is some shows that, uh, for me as a photographer, there are some shows, like if you come to Penal, you go to Brussels Master, you go to, i I never been in Aachen, that's my dream. Mm-hmm. You, yeah, you, you get this background, first of all, you yeah. know? So it's make different in the photo, it's make different also on your, 
and your uh, you know uh, how to describe it your your feeling okay. you feel like okay here i gonna create something new here i have this amazing background amazing weather and this and that we are showing some pics uh, of, of your uh, pictures of oliva i sure. think in the beach see I, I can't see it. But you, uh, yes. Some question of horses, some, some photos of uh, horses on the beach. Uh, All right. The one, the one from behind, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was early morning. And I yes. was, we, exactly. we were lucky, me and the rider, to be there at that morning because the next morning wasn't the same light. Oh, okay. If you see, if you, see if you look at the photo, yeah. you can't see. It is, it is sunrise or sunset, you know? Uh -huh. So it was, was amazing. We were lucky at that moment. Yeah, the photo is beautiful. And where were you? Sorry? Where were you in that picture? Where did you Behind the camera. <laughs> no, it was like uh, from the, not the sea side, the other side. So I, I was like just waiting for the rider to pass and go to okay. the to cross to the, between me and the sun, you know, to get that color. And which show was? Oliver. Uh, yeah. Oliver. Ah, okay. yeah. You mentioned it. Yeah, she mentioned it before. Yeah, it was Oliver. Now. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, what about other equestrian photographers? Uh, is there anybody who you like best or that inspire or influence you in this? Uh, as I said, to be honest, there is a lot of amazing photographer but I, as i told you to be honest for me sometime i i, I got to an amateur account uh, account which they are just start or they don't do it as a professional just as a hobby mm -hmm. and i find something they do i don't have it or i don't put it in my mind okay. so i learn from everyone but if you want to mention names just rodriguez for sure uh ashley nueva mm -hmm. if i don't uh, yeah. Uh, or you can mention another other photographers uh, outside from the equestrian world, if you if you prefer. Outside of from equestrian world, there is a lot to be honest. Yeah. I I learned from one of my friends. He have a master in fiab uh -huh. and landscape. So he was the first Arabian to get the master in fiab. Wow. I learned I learned from him how to do the. Uh, landscape photos and portrait and I believe if you know how to do the landscape photos you are almost understand the camera yeah. and it's helped me a lot I, I used to do most of the kind of photography before I start with horses mm -hmm. so it's helped me a lot oh. yeah because in landscape, Some, in landscape there's yeah. a lot of technique uh, so exactly Sometimes I try to mix between, like I, I, I didn't send you a photos. One, it was like, uh, okay, can we mention the, the other companies? It was uh, Long Jeans Oxer, uh -huh. and I, I took it as landscape. It was like uh, sunset, and I did the landscape, mm -hmm. the object of the Oxer. So and it was good, like, the photo was really good. I really like it. And also when you come to the portrait, like when the rider are walking, walking the, the, the course. When you do the portrait before, you know what what's gonna show like, uh, and you know every every person have, have like right side or left yeah. side mm -hmm. is more, more photogenic. <laughs> so if you, if you do like portrait for sure, you're gonna notice which side is the best. Okay. And here you make the client happy. <laughs> yeah, okay. can, can you tell us some tips and tricks you know, like like this. Yeah, I always like when 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 I, I every like first of all, any photographer ask me, I I told them as a photographer, don't be shy. This is the most important thing. and the most like, difficult. To exactly, learn. exactly, exactly. But then at the end, when you when you when you go forward, you'll say, yeah, I one day I was shy, so. Yeah. For what? Yeah, right. You know, exactly. So, and then learn from others. Learn from others. It's not necessary to be equestrian photographer, as I told you. Mm -hmm. Like some some people shooting the normal animal in safari and this stuff. Mm -hmm. You can get an idea from there. 
how to shoot close close uh, shoot to the eye for example mm. or some details from from the people who do portrait modeling this and that because and modeling one time like now i do i also do like portrait for the rider or the horse like i go to the stable i do this that so uh, as i used to do the modeling it's helped me a lot to do also with the horses yes you send me some pictures of uh, one blonde girl with a horse yeah uh, that's her horse yeah victoria with the blue dress yeah, yeah 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 that that was in dubai exactly oh, okay great great um and switching back to to photography um can you just mention one photo that was really inspiring for you not one that you take that you took but um somebody's photo that you that you believe to be inspiring for you and you said wow what, what? somebody you some photo you you were really impressed by uh i think the photo from jessica rodriguez the one from top I don't remember which which show it was but it was 2017 uh -huh. yeah that she was she should the the I think the same I have the same photo from Tobago yeah. there I sent uh -huh. it so it was the same and one day I said one day I want to do the same oh okay that, that one I did it in Barcelona and she was there as well. <laughs> so we took the same we took the same photo and among your photos uh, which one is the most popular among the ones you took Shalu from Emmanuel Yodani, the one in the indoor Leon. I think I sent it to you as well. Okay, which one is that? Uh, it was close, uh, like it's, it's only showing behind, mm -hmm. uh, like the front legs. I think it was from, it has like blue, dark blue color. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was in Leon 2019. Oh, okay. That's okay. A, yeah. I mean, always shallow photos make, for any photographer, make like bomb in the account, you know? <laughs> yes, of course. Um, so you said you, you travel a lot to do, to do this job. And um, exactly. which ones are your favorite locations? Where do you like to travel the most? Uh, well, it's, it's, I enjoy everywhere, you know? Where, wherever there's a show, wherever there's a horse, I enjoy <laughs> But now, now I, I best in Madrid, so you can say that I like Madrid. Okay. What do yeah. you like about Madrid? I don't know. I, I was in, okay, Italy for sure. <laughs> like I've been, I've been in Italy, but I didn't try to leave. Oh, yeah. okay. But yeah, but I, I've been in many cities in Europe, but in Madrid I felt different. I think also because the Spain, they have like similar in culture yeah. as Arabian. So I felt easy to live there, to be okay. honest. Yeah. And um, considering uh, the job that you do, do you have to work with social medias as well? Of course. Nowadays it's like, uh, you, you mean I do social media for others? Yes. No, I, I do only my... No, yes, of course, own. if you do your, if you okay. do yours. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I just misunderstand the question. I thought you asked me if I do also no, no, for no. the other. I think, yeah, okay. Yeah, of course. Like, my, my, my company is the Instagram uh -huh. for me. As Ahmed is the Instagram. It's my... Oh, okay. I, yeah, it's the, the, the best way to work. I, I believe it's for all photographers. Nowadays, website is not, not like before, you know. Now everything is on Instagram in your hand. It's easy. You don't have to go to a website and go here and there. For everyone, I think now uh, it's the best. Did, did you ever get to yeah. some uh, some work from uh, from Instagram or social media in general? Sorry? Uh, did you ever get uh, any jobs uh, from or the social medias from social media? Like. If, I, I don't uh, like as if you uh, as if somebody saw your photos on your Instagram profile and contacted you through Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. The most people they contact oh, okay. you from Instagram. Okay. Yeah, for the business, most of them are they connecting contact me through them. I Instagram. think that Kuderia yeah. 1919 did I, <laughs> I think the same way we we meet guys. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, it's it's a perfect touch point. 
uh, for, exactly. for people. Yeah. 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 And it's easy, easy, easy. It's in your hand yes. everywhere. Right? Yes. And you know, with the tags uh, and it, it's uh, online in general, we have uh, so, so much information. It's difficult to find the exactly. perfect uh, pick. Uh, well, mm. if, if you saw, if, if you see a, a beautiful picture, and if you, you have just to click on that uh, to cover exactly. who and took you have the, all the information that picture, you need. So yes. it's, uh... Exactly. As, as, as it's the same as I told you. I learned from it. I go through, through an Instagram, through different photographer, mm -hmm. different account. And I, I, every time I see something new, I try to put it into the question photographer. Um, now I wanted to ask you something a bit more technical about your equipment. Uh, sure. Tell us something about that. What, uh, what, which cameras do you use? What equipment do you do you take with you? Uh, I use Canon 1DX Mark II mm -hmm. as a body of the camera, and I use the lens 17200. Mm -hmm. Before I used to use uh, landscape uh, lens, but I don't have it anymore. So, but soon, uh, I hope soon I'm gonna go for it again. And also I'm planning to get like uh, more uh, zoom lens, like 300 or 400. Oh, wow. Future, yeah. <laughs> Your but, backup is not happy, I think. <laughs> in... So, so. <laughs> but but it's, it's good you ask, ask me this question because a lot of photographer, a lot of amateur, they come and ask which equipment are you, I have to go for. And I, I don't recommend to go for high level equipment. You know, the, the difference, it's, it's not different between the, the more expensive camera and the less priced camera. Mm -hmm. Because there, you don't have to do all the technique or all the attached, like the one, the most expensive. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not about the quality. Of course, the resolution is different. But at the end, you can get the same shoot, the same photo. Mm -hmm. With the with the less uh, price equipment, oh, okay. so this is an advice for anyone want to start photography. Mm -hmm. Start sure. one by one. I I start I start the same. I start with digital, mm -hmm. and then the cheapest can Canon at that time it was thousand one hundred the number I think, and then step by step till I arrive here. But mm -hmm. if you ask me now why you get this because, yeah, the resolution is most important, but also. I understand mostly everything in the camera. So this is the, the camera which fit me. Okay. But if I start with this one from beginning, mm -hmm. I don't I'll be I'll, I'll continue with photography. Oh. And what about editing? Do you spend a lot of time editing your photos? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's it's the most uh, like uh, I spend most time in editing, editing. most of the shooting yeah and uh, it's a crazy time or did you f do you find it relaxing because I i'm the crazy one that uh, relaxed during the post, the post production <laughs> yeah some, some well, friends it, say you are crazy it's not relaxing it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> no for me i enjoy it at the same time but sometimes when you are at the show and i have like many clients i need to finish because since i stopped photography i used to send the photo straight away to the, my client did so sometimes I sleep at three, I wake up at seven to be in the show. So, yeah. It's not good, but do you have press take, test take or you do it manually? I do have, and every time I do something manually, I save it as a present. So oh. I have it there. Okay. Yeah. But still take time, you know, when you shoot like minimum 3,000 photos each day, and then you analyze it, you get a then thousand, it's still thousand, you yeah. know, it's take time. Yes, yes, yes. Take. And uh, how you choose the perfect photo, which is the you know the point that you look to to choose the perfect photo to send it to the client. Yeah, it's 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 the same what I told you before. If you don't understand horses and you you and the sport, you're not gonna get the best one. You know, I look at the like position of the horse, the position of the rider. You know, if someone, sometimes you find the, the rider close his eye, this is simple things, you know. And I also like, I always like go through the client I work with photos and I know what they, what they like. So I try to do 
the style they like. So uh, thanks God, they're always happy with it. <laughs> they trust me with it. Okay, and um, apart from being a good photographer, is there any other talent that you would like to have in life? Uh, I use, I use, no, I like, I wish I was better football player. I used to play football before, before I start horse photography. Okay. I used to play it every day. So you I, quit I, food. I still, I, yeah, I quit, totally quit. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy where I am now, but I also will be happy if I was like professional okay. footballer. <laughs> For the money. <laughs> Maybe, but I, I really enjoy it as well, you know, I really enjoy okay. it, it's like, as I do now with riding and photography for sure, and then everyone gets uh, one things in life, you know. Sure, of course, sure. But photography was your, so your plan B, or? or... At the beginning it was a hobby, uh -huh. and then I think 2015, mm -hmm. I started with the portrait photos, as like to get some small amount of money like a part time mm -hmm. and uh, i i also used to shoot a lot of sport like car drafting mm -hmm. football so but it's not that mm, that much like uh, income on in, in that kind of uh, photography to be honest or maybe uh, at, at the region i'm living in we still don't have this uh, this mentality that photography is a professional okay. we still have it like a hobby you know uh, come on you spend your time um we will be asking you one last question for today uh and that is which are your goals for the future ha. in photography of course of course i would like to be like one of the biggest name mm -hmm. but you know you know, you know the things it's which what's make me most happy uh -huh. when i see for example if i send you a photo of you and i see how it's make you happy uh -huh. this is the most important in in in, in, in everything okay. you know so if i come big name one day or not i always gonna be happy with what i'm doing okay that's so inspiring that's so beautiful to say yes and it's a good uh, a good yeah. line to end with yeah it's really yeah, nice yeah, but, yeah. 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 It was nice to meet you guys. Thank you very nice much you. for your time. Yeah. Have a good job in Knock. Say hello to our Thank riders. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. And hope to see you soon. Uh, we will hear you some, sure. in some show jumping. In Instagram jumping, yeah. for, for the pics. I, I think I'm coming to Italy ah, soon. Ah, so great. You there. Great. <laughs> great. Then we'll see you here. All okay. right. Cool guys. Have, have a great evening. Thank you for the lovely interview. I really enjoyed Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.